win the fight because of my performance, because my technique. If I will have opportunity to take him down, I will take him down. Knockout, don't leave it up to the judges, you know. For me, this is a big fight on a big night. That's why I'm going to show the fans out there, you know, who Big Country is. CBS Elite XC Saturday Night Fights is sponsored by Affliction. Shop Affliction at afflictionclothing.com and by Burger King. Have it your way. SRF. And welcome back to the Bank Atlantic Center here in South Florida as CBS and Elite XC present Saturday Night Fights. Heavyweights Andre Arlovsky and Roy Nelson getting set to enter the cage. And here's a look at Roy Big Country Nelson. Born and raised in Vegas, this former IFL champion sees similarities with his career and that of George Foreman. While Roy, like George, may not look the part, he's highly skilled and packs a powerful punch. I'm just like the average guy. I look just like them, except that I go out there and I leave it all out there. Physique-wise, I have a stomach, but I like food. I'm not going to shy away from that. I'm going to live my life. You know, I put my hard work in just like everybody else. I take this, you know, job seriously. I'm the guy that just goes out there and, you know, ground and pound you, take you down, submit you, or I'm the guy that's going to knock your head off. When I beat Arlovsky, the biggest thing that it proves is just that I'm one of the top 10 guys in the world. I belong here. This is a great opportunity to show the world, you know, who Roy Nelson is. This is Gus's RF. Please welcome to the cage the powerful heavyweight from Las Vegas, Nevada, Roy Big Country Nelson. Roy Big Country Nelson currently on a five fight win streak. His last four victories have ended inside the distance with a TKO or a KO. Definitely comes from the never judge a book by its cover department. Well, most MMA fighters have a ripped stomach. He has a rippling stomach, but do not let that fool you. Six and one in the IFL. He was the IFL heavyweight champion. And sure, marketability is important, Frank, but at the end of the day, you still have to win, and he has done just that. Big country can fight. Now, he's got to use good footwork tonight to nullify Arlovsky's really, really fast hands. He's got to get this fight to the ground. Closing the distance could be dangerous, but he's got to find a way. And when he gets it there, he's got to go for submission holds in combat. Nation. That's how he's going to catch Andre tonight. Andre Orlovsky was set for the main event of an upcoming fight card for the Affliction promotion. When that show was postponed, CBS and Elite XC was thrilled to add another headliner to tonight's lineup. This very athletic heavyweight with superb boxing skills likes to end his fights with a bang. Before age 14, I was like, you know, like a target. I wasn't scared. I just don't want to disappoint my mom and my grandpa that I came home with some bruises, you know. But after age 14, like everything like changed and I fought with everybody anyway. I saw Nelson fight all the time. He want to give his opponent pressure, but I'm ready for this. He will have opportunity to choke him or do armbar leg locks. I will do it. When I first time did the Red Mount piece, people went crazy, you know, they like it, and you know, it's like my image right now. In my mind, if you want to be the best fighter, you have to fight with the best fighters. We try to take our place in the heavyweight division. I have to win. I just have to win. And now, here is one of MMA's most feared heavyweights from Chicago, Illinois, by way of Belarus, Andre the Pitbull. Andre Arlovsky is truly one of the best fighters in the world. Yes, you have got that right, Mr. Johnson. Former UFC heavyweight champion started lifting weights at 14. Really has his sights set on a future fight with Wham, a heavyweight champion, consensus number one fighter in the world, Theodore Emelianenko. But Frank, I have to ask you, did you ever think you would see ex-UFC and IFL champions fighting for affliction on an Elite XC card on CBS? You know what? I sure hope that we would. I'm just really happy that we're here today. Andre Arlovsky can win this fight if he avoids the big right hand of big country nelson he's also got to use combinations of punches he's got beautiful hands trained by freddie Roach. he's got to let him go and he's got to keep this fight on his feet force big country into a boxing match with him so let's take a look at the tail of the tape keep your eye on nelson he's a brown belt in jiu-jitsu although he's a big guy 
He is very good on the ground. Arlovsky, kickboxer. He works with Freddie Roach on his boxing skills, and he is also schooled in jujitsu. Now let's go inside the cage to Jimmy Lennon Jr. All right, fans, here we go from Sunrise, Florida, CBS and Elite XC in association with Affliction Entertainment present heavyweights in the cage in a special attraction scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Introducing to you first on my left, he is fighting out of the blue corner as a versatile boxer and wrestler. His record includes 13 wins and two losses. Please welcome the former IFL heavyweight champion, Roy. Big Country Nelson. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, raised in the disciplines of kickboxing and jujitsu. His record stands at 13 wins, five losses, including nine of his wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, he is making his elite XC debut. Please welcome the former UFC World Heavyweight Champion, introducing Andre the Referee in charge now to give instructions, Jorge Ortiz. Come on up, come on up, guys. Okay, guys, we went over the rules. I want to remind you, I want a clean fight. Touch gloves, good luck to both of you. The great Tito Ortiz, cage side. Rumor has it that he could be a member of the Elite XC stable very soon. Yeah, undergoing back surgery next week. We'll be back in action in 2009, and I know the man sitting left to me would like that very much, Mr. Shamrock. You Give me something to do with my fists. Are you ready? Timekeeper, let's do it. Arlovsky Nelson, and we're underway. And Arlovsky with the low kicks. Smart moves on the low kicks. Ah, uh, the two men in the clinch. Nelson would be wise to stay as close as possible with the former UFC champion. And he's got knee strikes and body strikes here. He's not taking advantage of them yet. And Arlovsky nice. with the trip. Arlovsky went to trip. Big country, sacrificed through him, ended up in the top position. This is where he wants to be. Now in half guard, Nelson wants to pass, and he does. Beautiful. Remember, he's a brown belt in jiu-jitsu, and he's very heavy, and that could cause problems. I think he's hugely dangerous on the ground. I don't think Arlovsky really understands that yet. Arlovsky very relaxed, though. There is a knee strike Arlovsky can do here with his right knee to the body, and I think that would be wise now to start softening Roy up. Nelson trying to mount, maybe, thinking about it. Well, the side mount is the best position to crawl, uh, control somebody without exposing your hips and your own balance. So many options from cross side position as well. The knee strikes to the body. And he's working on a lot, arm lock right here. North and south. And here's Roy finding a use for that belly now. Got it on his head, holding Orlovsky's head down, and controlling well, the he position. Really position. Definitely redefines the term well rounded, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and now look at Orlovsky bucking and rolling. Big bump, but instead of going all the way back to all fours, he's held for going to his butt again. And that's kind of a passive defensive position. He needed to pop up and start boxing. This is straight jujitsu right here as Nelson. Gets back on top of Orlovsky. And I don't think we should be surprised here, Frank, at what Roy Nelson is doing with Orlovsky nope. again. Do not sell him short. He's a very skilled ground fighter. He okay. wants to go for the Kimura right here. Yep. Position. He's setting it up right now. He's already got his wrist locked. Just needs to get that grip out. Yep, and then get Orlovsky's shoulder up a little bit. There he is in position to do it. Orlovsky's got it blocked now on the leg. Position. There's been some criticism of Orlovsky in the past that some of his performances weren't as exciting as he's capable of. He told us that it's all about matchmaking. He says that his opponents didn't want to engage, and right now he's being controlled by Orlovsky, but the referee bringing them back up to their feet. He's gone through all the trials that the champion has gone through the night club and all the fun. He's serious now. But is his technique caught up 
to his mystique. Arlovsky trying to keep distant, but Big Country won't let him. This fight put together on short notice. Arlovsky told us he would usually like a full eight-week training camp. Took this one on week's notice. May that be part of the reason for a slow start for Arlovsky? Maybe, but uh, look at the opposite. Roy Nelson, when I asked him about his camp, laughed and said, you mean the whole week? <laughs> you mean the full seven days? Uh, they're both on the same page here. There's a nice knee by Orlovsky. Well, he's got to pull that leg out. He's got to get down below that knee, suck that leg tight to his chest, pull his body out, strip that single leg down. Come on, guys, improve your position. Let's go. Nelson kneeing Orlovsky to the inner thigh. You spoke about that in the fight that preceded this with Gina Carano. Yeah, he needs to do the same thing here. It keeps him off the cage, keeps him sitting from sitting down and relaxing. Come on, you gotta work. Fans getting a little restless. They anticipated some fireworks. Again, remember, mixed martial arts. Nelson very cognizant of Orlovsky's punching power. I think Nelson is fighting a very smart game thus far. I would agree with you 100%. 50 seconds to go here in the first round. Orlovsky kicking to the back of the knee. Straight jab getting in right on the chin of Nelson. Lead right hand landing for Orlovsky. He kicks back to the leg, to the other leg now. He goes inside. Nelson's corner imploring him to keep his hands up. Words to the wise there against a huge puncher like the Pitbull. Well, Roy Nelson's getting tired. He's putting that game plan on, but it's taking a lot of energy from him, and he's taking damage at the same time. Eight seconds to go in the first round. Scheduled for three, three five-minute rounds. Andre Arlovsky in black, Time. Big Country Nelson in white. Now let's join Karen Bryant, who's standing by with an MMA superstar. That's right, Gus. I am, of course, here with former heavyweight champ Tito Ortiz. And Tito, anything you want to tell us about uh, who you're going to be fighting for next? Because you've kind of been a free agent for a little while now. Yeah, well, I've been a free agent now for it's almost five months. Uh, it feels good to be a free agent, of course. Yeah, it feels good to be with Elite XC, too. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's <laughs> awesome. I've seen uh, Andre Olaski competing uh, in this now. So, you know, the names are starting to come over. Um, I'm going to exercise my right, of course, being a free agent. Uh, and, you know, we're working really close with Elite. And we're about, you know, I'd say about maybe a week away from uh, signing the deal so I'm excited I know all the fans will be excited when I come and uh, I'm just looking forward to get back in the, the cage all right well Frank said you would be something fun to do with his fists yes that would be good I know last time me and Frank uh, got it on I was a young kid you know uh, 22 years old and I, I wasn't educated at the time in the sport as it is now I mean I got 11 years experience now so I think it'd be a different story in the rematch but you know Frank's an awesome fighter an awesome um, promoter himself and uh, it's the fact of me getting in the cage with him excellent well thanks for joining us tonight Tito enjoy the show yes not a doubt. Let's go. all right Karen round two scheduled for three Frank how did you score that first round between Andre Orlovsky in black and Roy Big Country Nelson in white? Well, I thought Orlovsky won the round. I mean, fairly good. Oh, 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 oh. Nice left hook by Nelson as he shoots. I thought he needs to shoot, man. I thought he won that first round convincingly using good clean boxing, but he got lazy there. But one thing I would knock Orlovsky with right now is he's punching, but he's not moving his head. He's got brilliant boxing, but he's not moving his head. And when you're with any type of puncher with power, you have to move your head. Well, how do you keep your distance, Frank, if you are more of a stand-up fighter when you know that you're fighting a man that wants to get close to you, wants to shoot, wants to make sure that he leaves on you the entire fight? You got to keep that jab out there. You got to keep it busy. And then if he keeps rushing you, you got to start jabbing from the bottom. Because when you jab from the bottom, your opponent can't see it and he'll run into a punch. Bad positioning here for Roy Nelson. He's got to get his head up. That distance is the wrong distance right now. Telltale stat from round one. Nelson able to land just one of 16 arm strikes. Nelson very tired. Look at his hands. Oh. Down low. Now Orlovsky pouring it on. Orlovsky. Orlovsky just needs to stay tight here. He's got to keep his hands up when he's throwing these combinations. Orlovsky has to be very careful. He has displayed a suspect chin in the past. Knee to the body from Orlovsky. He needs to throw that knee to the body right here. Roy Nelson's gut is better than he needs. It wants to be needed. Look at it. 
You know what? Oski, uppercut. Nelson covering up Orlaski now. Punches and punches. And Nelson backs him off with two stiff jabs. Inside leg kick. Right hand. Oh, goodness. Big right hand. And this one is finished. Andre Orlaski dropped the bomb on Roy Nelson. So in the end, Orlovsky dominates Nelson like CSI dominates the ratings. That's how you close the show. <laughs> Nelson is not happy. Well, we've heard talk of Orlovsky's chin, saying it might be suspect. He took some pretty good shots here tonight. Roy Nelson definitely has a chin of iron. Why do you think Nelson is upset? I think he thought he could have kept going. I mean, obviously, he's got a great chin. He knows he can take these type of punches. So let's take a look. Andre Orlovsky with a KO in the second round and a money attack. He kicked the inside of the leg out, followed by a jab, left uppercut, right hand. He stunned Roy Nelson and just followed him with one straight right. That was it. Roy is down. Andre Orlovsky improves his record to 15 and 5. All right, here's a second look. Kick that leg out. Look, he spreads his body up and squares him, then lifts that hand up, uppercut. Oh, stunned him good. Roy looking for space, looking for a place to fall. Orlovsky helps him with that straight right hand. Oh. So Andre Orlovsky spectacular in his debut with Elite XC. Let's go inside the cage and Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of three minutes, 14 seconds in round number two. He is the winner by way of knockout, Andre the Pitbull Orlovsky. Andre Orlovsky currently on a five-fight win streak. Four of the five fights ending inside the distance as we take a look at the CompuStrike total. CompuStrike says it, man. Orlovsky was using good kicks, beating up the body, also striking on the ground a little bit. Uh, doing really nice work with the hands. Hands were the final game of it all. Nelson couldn't get it down where he really wanted it. Went for a couple of dominant positions, but Orlovsky stole this fight with good clean boxing, mixing kicking and boxing to knock it.